So these kind of videos I will do it, I will be making uh, when uh, you join to my channel. So pay attention on today's videos because it will be very interesting. Today we are going to make together the Biga technique and the Polish technique. That means it's a basically a pre-east for the dough. Let's go together. Here's with my helper, my brother. So he's gonna hold the phone for me. Be careful your hands. Like that. Okay, go me. Stay straight. Okay, how you doing guys? So basically we have a polish ray here, uh, which is this one here. Let's go see. Already pre-made, but uh, stop. So basically this one is a one liter, uh, actually this one is a five liters of water, five kilos of flour. It's, it's very easy. Uh, this is the water, five kilos of flour. It's, it's very easy. Uh, these videos will be mostly only in English because uh, right now in Italy, everybody's drinking. So we have five liters of water, five kilos of flour, and uh, five grams of uh, yeast. This is how we find it. It for about this already was mixed for about five minutes, but we're gonna mix it for about another five just to show you how how it is. Show show the inside the dough. Okay, so this one is uh, how we find the uh, go closer. Yeah, right there. 60 people. 71 people. Okay, now. Okay, now we're going to make the biga. So, this is the uh, method polish, and this is the biga. So, we're going to make two two types. You know, the two types for the second. Oh. Uh, so, the biga. We have one little water. We just scale everything because uh, the, it's very important that it needs everything to be perfect. So this time we're going, we're going to put five grams because this was uh, much stronger than the regular. So make sure, make sure you scale everything. Five grams. Five grams. That's it. Five grams. Okay, we put this uh, the yeast on the side. This one right here. Sorry, it's a little bit of uh, not too mm. much. So we put the, the dry yeast on the side. Now. Sorry guys, little problems with the, with the internet. I'm sorry guys, we got some uh, issues with uh, with the internet. Also, we are checking right there with the iPad. Are you guys see me? Thumbs up if you see me. Thumbs up if you see me, guys. I don't see any thumbs up, so <laughs> probably can you can you recharge that? Apologize for okay, this this good. inconvenience. Okay. You guys see me? Yeah, they're coming now. They're ah, fantastic. Okay, I start to see the thumbs okay, up. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. F sorry for the internet. It's uh... okay. Okay, it's so we got. I will reply to all of you. Okay, yes. but uh, when we finish this, so this one, uh, let's go back on the. This is bigger. We got one liter of water. Five we got grams. five grams of e of. Uh, uh, there is the dry yeast. So keep it right there, Demi. Now we scale uh, one kilo of uh, flour. In this case, I use the Mulino Piantoni. So one kilos. Actually, it's two kilos, sorry. Double. Yeah, one. Uh, yeast from Texas. 
I don't know where it comes from. But it's a dry yeast. I'm just making this just for you guys. We need to scale everything. Amazing, we got two kilos of flour. Now, uh, I'm gonna make this uh, uh, big, uh, very easy to understand, very easy to make, so not too complicated uh, with fancy machine or stuff like that. So this video will be very easy and uh, very, f for people that is not professional, or uh, they don't have a machine very professional, the professional, or uh, they don't have a machine very professional, this is the way to go, very easy. So, <coughs> let's go. Okay, now we need a big container. Oh. And I'm <coughs> Now we need a bigger container. Let's go there. Okay. Take a... Okay. So guys, let's go. It's just three ingredients. We got the two kilos of flour, dumpling, my papa vision. Then leave it. Beautiful. Now we put the yeast just like that. We mix it up everything. Just really quick. And then little by little. Little by little is we're gonna put the water. Just like that. Don't worry about because this is not a dough, this is bigger. It's a pre priest. Lash lash a minute. Lash a minute. So when uh Debbie, stay fair moment qua, per favore. Okay. Uh when we get all the flour from inside here. So that's when you see that the beaker is, uh, is made. If you have a dough machine that is faster, but we don't have it, we have only fork, we can undo it. But if you have the Aspiro, you can do it. So, there we go. So we try to catch all the flour that is around the box here. So this one, you need to break it always like this. We have some questions there. Some people ask questions. No, question. no question, no. Okay. Guys, please leave a like and a thumbs up. Break it. This is bigger, made with, uh, with dry yeast. Voila. Okay. Okay, they put the... Nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Guys, this is the, the bigger how you find it. It will be like, it's a little bit hard. It does have to be a uh, dough, because this one, that's how, how it needs to be done. So now what we do, very important, you know, very important, we need to put the bigger inside a, a straight container, possibly like this one, not, not, flat. So, let's put a little by little inside. Very good. How many people watching? 94, no, 95. Guys, please thumbs up. And then 17 likes. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Okay. Try to get it on. All right. Okay. Uh, so how? Now, ah, a question, V. Yes. How How many pizza? Let me go to the gorilla. I'm going to wash my hands. Oh, they... 
Okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm washing my hands. Okay. Uh, washing my hands. Wow, okay. you need to lose. What is oh. it? Oh. Debbie, you need to keep it straight, Debbie. Also, I don't want okay. To... Fantastic. Sorry, guys. That's my Sorry for the internet. What is it? What's your question? Okay, I'm sorry guys. So this one is the... This one is the Biga. So this Biga is uh, for 15 liters of uh, water. So basically for 110 pizza, 130 pizzas. Okay, now that we have the Biga done, can I have a, a lid please? Uh, guys, please uh, keep uh, keep a comment. I will uh, reply to all, all of you in a little bit when I will see it. So, nothing. This is the bigger. Now we're gonna put it in the fridge for about uh, 16 hours. So tomorrow morning we take it out and we start to make the dough. So you make 15 liters of water. You put all of this flour and salt. That's it. No yeast because this is the yeast. So please, David. Put it in the fridge. We got the bigger done. Now let's go back on the <coughs> polish. This one is the polish. Like you can see, you'll find it just nice and smooth. See? Vai, fagli fagli sta pizza. Vedi che vuole. Fagli sta pizza. Okay, this is the the polish. So we're gonna wait about a uh, couple hours. It's been like this for already. Uh, maybe 30 minutes, approximately. So we close it and we leave it in the dough machine. I'm sorry, but it's so, so difficult to, to share a live with a cell phone and by myself. Okay. Now, let's go, I'm gonna go sit and read all of your comments. So this, uh, this big array here, I will add another 10 liters of water and the rest of the flour and the salt. And then we let it rest for about uh, uh, 16 hours outside when we make the balls. Okay. Yeah, fire up the oven. Okay, guys, we are back in here. Sorry. Let's go, let me put the phone on charge. This way I can I reply to all of you that's been here watching me. Okay. Please guys, thumbs up, thumbs up. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Okay. Amazing, sorry for this, uh, all this movement for this live but you know I always am professional okay try to set up the phone done so guys I'm gonna read all the message trying to so many thank you so much okay let's go right here actually I'm gonna try to do the opposite right there uh, first of all Hello to everyone. Ciao, saluti da Venezia. Ciao, amico. Hello from Capen. Wow, you guys are so many. Thank you so much for being there. If you guys have any question about the Biga and the Polish, please let me know. <coughs> please explain what you are feeling for. Well, we are feeling the, uh, the, the air. What is bigger? Bigger is a pre-fermentation of the dough to make the dough a little bit more puffy, if you like it. No, no Manitoba flour. I'm using only zero zero flour. 
uh, Stefan, I'm using dry yeast to make the things more easy for the people here in America because the, the fresh yeast is so difficult to find. So I decided to use a uh, dry yeast for you guys, just for you guys. Uh, Rodney only, what is the process for? So the process is because to make the, the dough more fragrant and more, uh, more puffy and more air and more digestible. How many pizza will take? Will this make? And this is being made from tomorrow. Pizzas? Yes, of course. So the pizza is gonna be ready for tomorrow, and tomorrow we are going to make the dough, which means so after tomorrow. The process with pizza is a little bit longer than the regular, and uh, so it takes like two days almost. Yes, you need a lot of container. Yes, I know. John, will that amount of bigger be used for a bench of dough or is for a few? No, it's for a bench of dough like uh, for about 130 pizza, so 15 liters of water. <clears throat> What's the difference between bigger and polish for final result? That's a good question, Ramon. So the bigger will make the dough a little bit more puffy, so with a lot of uh, I don't know to explain the, the terms in English, but it will be more, uh, uh, the gluten will be more, uh, the dough will be more soft and more fragrant. The polish is more natural dough, which is a little bit, that's what I use personally, I prefer, because to go is a little bit more crunchy. No, I use, uh, in this video, I'm using, I'm making the uh, bigger and uh, Polish, so this is not lievito madre, which is different. Uh, Johnny F, yes, big and polish are two different things. I'm making two different things in the separate things, just to just for you here for my live, and this is uh, to show you for the people who was going to join my channel to what I'm going to do in the future. Which is better, bigger or polish? Uh, this is just something that what you prefer. If you like the pizza a uh, canotto with a, like a, the crust puffy and nice and soft, go with bigger. If you like uh, the pizza a little bit more crunchy because you make a lot of to go, go with uh, go with uh, uh, the polish. Ciao Vito, hai detto in inglese che nella bigger non hai lievito? No, no, I never say that, Marco. Uh, Biga is uh, we put some yeast. I put the the I didn't put the fresh yeast, but I put the dry yeast. So it's different. Uh, Al Capone, ciao maestro. I want to know if you utilize the dough in any of your pizzas. Uh, please, Al Capone, repeat the question because I didn't really understand. I'm sorry. Ciao a tutti, ciao a tutti, ciao from Chile, ciao, ciao, ciao. All purpose of flour, okay? Uh, yes, try, why not? Try. Vito, una domanda. La biga come viene? Okay, I'm gonna speak in English because this video is a lot of people from English, but. This one I will re uh, reply in Italian for my friend Portrait. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, the polish, it's a little bit more uh, crunchy and uh, it doesn't come like the bigger. The bigger comes the crust, like nice puffy, big crust. But it's always very light and uh, digestible. for bread yes yes it is most for bread but now is everybody's using it for the pizza so a lot of people has been asking me uh, how it's made the bigger what is for and uh, today we decide to make it thank you Ramon oh. sorry so polish more crunching than bigger yes a little bit but it's almost the same Uh, will you ever eat a pizza with bananas? Well, if it's a dessert pizza, yes, Nutella. 
José. Ciao from Sydney, Australia. My parents are from Salerno and love your baking pizza. Your channel has made a better home pizza yolo. Thank you, thank you, José, thank you. Let's go see some cooking uh, pizza. Let's go. Uh, later, later. This is a different video. Do you let rice in the fridge? Nicolas, yes. The biga is rice in the fridge for about 16 hours. Tomorrow morning, we take it out about one hour and we put it in the dough as a, as the replacement of the regular yeast. And then uh, we make the dough and we let it rest for about uh, seven, six hours and then it's ready to use. Please guys, thumbs up. We are 92, but only 33 uh, people like the video. Of course, only if you like it. Thank you. Uh, Vito, in the beginning of your YouTube channel videos, was your family mom, family? Yes. Uh, star, yes, I've still used them. What's your favorite kind of pasta? I love, I love pasta al forno. O riso patate cozze. L'idratazione del polish è sempre 100%? No, allora, ti spiego subito Marco. Uh, il polish viene fatto 5 litri di acqua, 5 kg di farina. Semplice. So, it's about one, yeah. And then la, la biga sono uh, un litro di acqua e 2 kg di farina. Quindi è differente. Uh, you're going to leave the recording on are you going to leave this recording on your channel? Uh, yes, I will leave this for about uh, one week and then I will delete it because I don't like that much of uh, quality that the moves and everything because uh, also I put it here in my TV in the rest and it doesn't look uh, correct. But I will reply to everyone. I love it. Do you make only one set pizza? Yes, I make only one set pizza. It's 12 inches pizza. Moe, Shaman, and Lobito. How, uh, how many hours I should leave the dough after freezing? No, we don't freeze the dough, freezing the dough, but we just put it in the fridge if it's hot. If it's cold, you can keep it at room temperature. So you keep it in the fridge, it's good also even for two, three days. The important thing is that you take it out from the fridge one hour, two hours before, because you don't wanna use the dough cold. And Lubito, do you make only one side pizza? Yes, 12 inches. A quale temperature conservi l'impasto, maestro? Uh, io la, la pasta la faccio riposare a temperatura ambiente per più o meno 20 ore e poi la metto nel frigorifero, se non la uso, a 4 gradi più o meno. I like a lot of per un grado di sale. Il polish può essere fatto con farine di media forza, giusto? Sì. Bravo. How long does it take you to train your pizza maker pizza? Eh, about uh, two, three months to make it perfect. But in one week, they learn how to make the pizzas. Vito, when are you visiting London? Soon. Soon I will go to London. How long does Biga last to use? That's a good question. <coughs> sorry. Uh, I was saying sorry. Uh, the, we make it and tomorrow we use it for the, for the dough. So about uh, one day. Puoi fare del video con l'Uni più piccolo e inventato a pale? Sì, Andrea, farò il video molto presto. Tu absorbi. Do you ever use sourdough? No, never. 
più o meno quanti minuti impasti la biga più o meno 5 minuti 10 minuti se io lo faccio sempre a mano perché non ho l'impastatrice a spirale se avete l'impastatrice a spirale è un po più facile quindi 5 minuti ciao claudio agostino will you ever come to sydney and put on a pizza show ever consider open a pizzeria yes joe i wish if I find someone that helped me to open in Australia, I'll go for it. Ciao dall'Australia. Oh, Vito, when I come to place one day, you can do pizza with your restaurant? Oh, definitely, Lucas, of course. Do I take the flower? No. Let's go right there. Al Capone, my sweet. Oh, I watched some pizza video where they hydrated the flower. So. Does that make do more digestible? No, it doesn't make the dough more digestible. If you want to really do digestible, you have to go with biga or uh, uh, polish. But this is a different situation. This is more uh, complicated. Why you don't make more hydration of dough? Because uh, Leo, because I don't have the. Uh, the Aspiro, I have the fork mixer, so that makes the things a little more slow. So I do authentic Neapolitan dough, very simple. Grande Guglielmo, I waited for you. Grazie, grazie, guys. Please, thumbs up. Best dough hydration percentage for puffy crow. More, the more the hydration, the more it will be puffy and soft and less salt now in a little bit we're going to make the dough una domanda that's a good question quando si prende il panetto dalla cassetta perché si capovolge si capovolge perché quando tu lo prendi il di sotto del panetto è un po più umido della parte di sopra quindi si capovolge nella farina e poi si ricapovolge nella farina e si fa la pizza quindi perché è più umido ecco perché can you make a video leo i will make soon this week i'm planning already to make the, the special dough for home So soon it's coming. What's the difference between dry yeast and fresh yeast? Does it make any difference? What portion you use to dry? Yeah, of course it makes a difference, it's totally different. Uh, the, the dry yeast is like very, very more stronger than the other one is and then it's not like it's not like uh, Uh, natural than the other one so it's more uh, I believe it's more chemical on the, the drive but it's more easy to find uh, Biga must must made from dry yeast can we no Mohammed uh, I made the Biga with dry yeast just to show you uh, here in USA to how it's made with uh, the dry yeast because it's made uh, because it's more easy to find so but definitely I always use uh, I suggest to use the fresh yeast can you recommend a specific percentage of water to flour uh, Rodney so uh, easy you don't need a percentage we have the, the recipe we have one kilo of, of uh, uh, one liter of water two kilos of flour So if you want to do F, you can do F. You can do uh, F, F a liter of water and one kilo of flour. So that's how you go. Uh, what kind of stone oven is Saputo? No, uh, Lucas, I don't understand this question. Hola maestro, hola Svizzera, why is fresh yeast better than dry? Christopher, why? Uh, because uh, I just say that on the, another question, 
because I believe is uh, the f the fresh yeast. I believe is more natural than, than the other one, and then the other one is the dry yeast is way too strong than the other one. So nothing. Let's go now. I believe I reply to everyone. I'm sorry if I miss someone, and uh, I say to I to everyone. Uh, qual è la migliore temperatura per cuocere la pizza in un fornale? Oh, questo è facile, 450 gradi, 400 gradi, is the best, depends. So now, let's go uh, make the... Hold on, one more question. Let me make it the dough. No, no olive oil. If uh, I use uh, the electric oven, I go with uh, olive oil. But we don't have an electric oven in this case, uh, so we don't need olive oil. Uh, now, sorry guys, we're gonna make the, keep making the, the process, the dough with the polish that we start, because the polish, can, we cannot leave it like that. So. Quanto deve essere la temperatura della platea del forno? Più o meno 350 gradi, però dipende. Devo essere onesto, non la misuro la temperatura della, della platea, però lo vedo quando c'è il forno uh, cioè lo, lo vedo quando il, dal colore eh, comunque sto per pubblicare un, un video delle, degli errori del forno a legna quindi quello lì c'è anche sul uh, quel piccolo particolare c'è anche lo troverete anche nel video grazie Ornella vi adoro anch'io do you have a fire type of ricotta? no Okay guys, it's time to put a like. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. I want to reach this 100,000 subscribers for a big surprise for you. La ricetta del tuo polish, semplice Guglielmo. We have uh, 5 litri di acqua, 5 kg di farina, 5 g di lievito. La miscoliamo e la facciamo riposare per uh, un'ora e poi tra poco andremo a fare l'impasto. Can you tell me what's the best tomato pizza? Oh, okay, that's a, a good question. If you are in California, go with the Napoli tomato. If you, uh, you want to get a tomato, I don't know. They, they have a bunch of different ones, so it depends, honestly, on you. I like San Marzano, whatever brand. Ciao are really good, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of tomatoes are good, so it's very hard to say which one is the best. Can you also make pizza romana? No, of course, with the, with the bigots, uh, can, can be really good. Sempre a temperatura ambiente? Cosa? Sì, sempre a temperatura ambiente. Faremo l'impasto uh, tra poco, la lasciamo riposare per un'ora. Il vabbè, non posso stare al, al telefono per tutta la serata, però uh, spiegherò un po' nei commenti. Poi farò le palline. No, never, never been in Vancouver, sorry. How long, how long pizza dough can stay outside? Uh, depends. How much flour you put, how cold. Uh, depends on a lot of factors, so I don't know. Uh, probably 24 hours, 20 hours. Depend. If you make it really hard, it can stay a little bit more. Thank you guys. You guys are really a lot. So let's go. Since we have uh, 110 people almost here looking, I'm going to make the, the dough with polish. Let's go. Sorry if my phone will uh, shake. It's a shaky shaky. Uh, pizzeria. We have my brother there. David, say hi to everyone. You want to say? David, se vogliono qualcosa. David, qualcuno ti sta salutando. Mohamed, say hi. This is the oven at the correct temperature. Oh, you forgot it. Focaccia Barese. That's how I learned. I learned from my grandmother. Please guys, thumbs up. We are 
we are 100 people, but only 48 likes. Why? Thank you. We are here. So we are going to make, we are going to finish the dough that I start with the polish. So I'm going to try to set up the phone somewhere. Somewhere here. Okay. I think right here we got it. Uh, because I don't like when it shakes too much. Uh, sorry. Try to find a way to keep the phone. Give me one second, I'm gonna call the guy. Hey, Cesar! Cesar! So, here you go. This one is the dough, uh, this is the polish. Like you can see, now is uh, some, uh, with some bubbles. I'm sorry, Robert, but this is alive. This is alive, I know. So, like you can see, the polish, after one hour... Hey, Cesar! Okay, what we're doing now, we add... The In this dough, we're going to add Okay, guys, I'm gonna set it up here and that's it. Sorry if you don't really see everything, but uh, check out my YouTube channel for next videos. Okay. So, in this video, uh, in this uh, now, we're going to add the rest of the water. So, about uh, 10 liters of water. So, stay there. After I put the 10 liters of water, we can add the, uh, the rest of the flour. So it's basically one bag of flour, uh, total, total of the, between the polish and the dough. So let's go see. Get the flour. Hey, Devin, mi puoi dare un sacco di farina, per favore? Si, sta qua. Beautiful polish, guys. Getting some air. We are 53. Let's go. I want to see 100 likes and share. amount of the flour and some amount of the flour first Mix it for a little bit. Then, in the meantime, for about five minutes, we scale the salt. Hey, Devi, mi puoi prendere 750 grammi di sale? Per favore. La bilancia è qui, eh?
So in this one, we put, uh, we add, uh, other than uh, biga, we add just the uh, uh, salt and flour and water. Nothing, no yeast, no olive oil, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna scale uh, 750 grams of salt. So I'm gonna scale 750 grams of salt. Voila, now we have the salt. We are ready to put it in. Yeah, there we go. We're ready to put it in the salt. So we have the salt the little by little, just like that. Voila. We got the salt. Now we put the rest of the flour that we didn't put it before. So toro. We have total, including the, the polish, we have uh, 15 liters of water and 25 kilos of flour and 750 grams of uh, salt and 5 grams of yeast. So, here you go. I'm doing this very simple and easy for everyone to understand. So that's the reason. I'm gonna check a little bit. Let me see some. We're gonna put it for about 20, 15 minutes. 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Let's go see some questions right here. Hi Vito. I have some dough. Uh, I have some dough there overgrow after four hours and room temperature. I use only 10 grams of fresh yeast and in your dough recipe, can you help me please? It depends how much flour, how hot was it, but I don't know about uh, four hours. Since a little bit depends how much salt you put and everything, so I need to understand. Email me some question, guys, or comment below or my Instagram. I will reply to you before or after. Uh, have how many quarts? If this is about 15 liters of water. You need to wear a head cam. I know. I will buy one one day. I'm sorry for this live, but I, I don't like to do lives because of the quality. Can you tell me the recipe for the biga in Polish of one kilos of flour? Uh, so, please, Kimo, check the the beginning of the videos, and you will understand everything.
uh, the mozzarella. The mozzarella needs to be white and fresh. Al Capone, you funny guy. Okay, let's go see the dough together. I add a little bit more flour. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour because uh, the bag was not 15 liters, was already open. Uh, it was not 25 kilos, was already open. Here is my mother, very, very friendly mother, very friendly mother. Okay, you have something to say? No. We have uh, only one other people here. I'm too busy right now, working and prepping and doing everything. What are you doing? Ciao, signora. Ti stanno salutando. Vieni qua. Yeah. Vieni, saluta un po' i miei. Stay, stay with us. English. Nothing. Guys, you guys have any question for my mother? Tell me anything, I know how to cook anything you want. Lasagna, cannoli, you guys think anything. you should, I should do some you videos. You name it and I know how to do it. I should do some videos about... Cooking uh, is magic, yes. it's art. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you my mama, my brother, everybody's here. Bye. Anyway, let's go. Let's do the YouTube channel too. Yeah, well, you do channel too? No. Hey, Veras, Tom, no. how you doing? <laughs> Put your mama on more videos, they say. She say everyone, ciao to everyone. Mixed in the dough. Apostle. My brother is doing the... I clean already over there. Thank you, Mohammed, thank you. So nothing, guys. We've been uh, about one, almost one hour here. Never made a video about one hour. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you so much. And uh, nothing. This one is the dough, the polish, and the big. I hope you like this video. Please, of course, subscribe to my channel. And uh, nothing. When we finish the dough, we put it in a container, let it rest for one hour. We make the balls, and we let it rest until tomorrow. And then it's ready to rock and roll. And you see my pizza on my Instagram, Vito Jacopelli. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will reply to the rest of the comments. And please subscribe and support my channel. Ciao from Maestro Vito Copelli and hope I help you in the new, uh, help you in this pizza business. Ciao a tutti. Un bacio da Maestro Vito Copelli. Ciao.